before coming and taking a look at this demonstration code to show you how this end of file function is to be used i would strongly recommend please take a look at the video prior to this one where you are explained the concept of how this end of file works and how this end of file macro is going to be used in your file so what i'll do is first i'll define a character sorry i'll define variable c of the type int i'll tell you why i am defining int as the character as int i am going to ask the user to enter a number of characters all right the user can enter a number of characters now what i am going to do here is in an infinite while loop okay while one means this loop is never going to end until i do a break or a return out of this particular statement what i am going to do here is i am going to say c is equal to f sorry f get c standard in let me tell you what this really means f get c is a function which is used to get one character at a time from a file and the parameter to it is a source of input or also known as stream in files the standard input happens to be your keyboard standard output happens to be a monitor standard error happens to be your screen so when i say standard input whatever i type on the keyboard is going to be read in by f get c and it is going to return the ascii value of that as a integer to c that's why i have defined c as a int then what i am going to do here is using this if f e o f function okay f e o f okay of this particular standard in i'll tell you what it means now this tells me whether i have completed reading my input so if i have completed reading my input i am simply going to say the use the break keyword here i am going to come out of this while loop otherwise what i am going to do here is i am simply going to say printf percentage c and i am going to print the value of c on the screen all right and let me do a return zero as usual although not really important but just as a habit and a good practice let us do it so let me first proceed to explain then we'll run it online and then you'll get a complete idea of how this feof function works the prototype of feof is defined in the header file standard io.h i have defined c as a integer type of data because get c or f get c to be more correct when it reads a character from the keyboard it returns the ascii value of the character as an integer data type now the parameter to f get c if you had seen happens to be the stream in my case the stream stands for source of input or output when i say standard in my source of input happens to be the keyboard now i am going to keep entering data from the keyboard f get c is going to keep on reading at some point i want to stop entering i am not going to enter forever so how do i stop entering on the online gdb compiler if i press control d and press enter that stands for end of a file marker or it stands for end of file indication that end of file indication will go to feof feof will return a zero and it will break so when i have pressed control d i indicate that i do no, no longer want to enter any input so as long as i am getting a character i am printing it on the screen so we'll take this code paste it onto the online gdb compiler try to run it there and further explanation shall then take place so just see what i am trying to do here i am going to simply compile this code and try to enter a series of characters so you need to understand one thing if you want the character to be displayed immediately after you enter then after every character you need to press enter see here g it is displaying the character e if i press enter it's displaying the character u if i press enter it's displaying the character suppose i keep typing like this welcome to geu it's not going to show me every character at a time because what happens is all the characters i type in is stored in a place called as a input buffer so the characters are still not sent to f get c when i print the press the enter key those characters happen to get sent to enter f get c at that point of time so now when i press enter you will see all the characters 
from the buffer buffer is nothing but a area of memory which is used to store temporarily all the key values or all the keystrokes or the data you have typed from the keyboard in the memory the minute i press enter the data is transferred from the buffer onto fgetc fgetc is then going to check and as long as it's not end of file it is going to print so on the next line you will see all at one shot being printed so now you can see welcome to geu being printed at one shot now suppose i have to say i am done entering data although you can't see i am pressing control and d i am holding the control and d character and i press control d that's why you are seeing now program finished with the exit code of 0 that means the program returned successfully there was no error in trying to read data from the keyboard so the key learning from this particular piece of demo code is how to use the feof function feof is going to either read from the file on a hard disk or it can read from the standard input device which happens to be your keyboard so whatever value it reads it will assign it to c now feof if it accepts a parameter called as the stream it will tell you whether you have finished entering your input so if i press control and d on the online gdb compiler control z i will have to press on the windows machine to indicate end of input so when i press control d or control z on windows it indicates end of output sorry end of input and then it will stop processing so i'll just run it once again to show you a few things so here it's asking me to enter the characters so i am entering welcome to geu now i am going to press control and d so here if you see after control and d it has printed the message welcome to geu so this is how i am able to show you the use of file end of file function so this end of file function helps me know whether i have stopped providing input or whether i have reached the end of a file